During the summer, children across the country and across San Antonio might spend their time playing outside, going to camps, maybe even going to theme parks. But a small group of eight and nine year olds spent their free time learning what life is like behind the badge. Max Massey gives us an inside look at this year's Shirts Police Junior Academy. Sprinting, crawling, and sliding. This is the obstacle course these eight and nine year olds had to complete as part of the Shirts Police Junior Academy. Anything specific you came in here wanting to learn? Uh, what tools that police do and how do they use them? But this week is so much more than just running. We kind of like them to understand that we just don't go out and arrest people. There is more to our job than just going out and arresting people. A lot of people think that when we show up on a scene that that's what we're there for and that's not necessarily the case. Obviously, learning the ins and outs of police work is very important. This is a week long class for four hours a day. So parents also realize the crucial aspects of the social interaction. Get him out there so he can talk to other people, other adults, other authority figures, other kids. other kids. Antoine and Francesca Tompkins say their son Jeremiah is an introvert, and they think this is a unique opportunity for him to learn to interact with police and even make some friends his own age. This week, these kids are learning everything from fitness to strategy, equipment, even science. But most importantly, they're learning to work together. That's what police do. They are a team. I think it'll be a, it's a good impact because it shows us kind of in a positive light. We're here to have a good time. We're smiling. We're laughing. We're upbeat. We're not necessarily on a scene where things are a little, you know, high, high anxiety. Over the course of the five days, these students learned everything from EMS to forensics. And yes, they even got to interact with the canine unit. And at the end of the day, the Tompkins goal was also accomplished. Max Massey, KSAT 12 News.